Hi everyone, it's Joyce from Puffy and today I will be showing you guys how I package my orders and basically what materials I use, where I get my supplies and my plans for future packaging because right now I have a huge stock of how I used to package my charms but I wanted to upgrade into more sturdy packaging so there will be no way a package will get smushed or a charm will be cracked unless the delivery people just so yeah, I'm so excited to show you what I do behind the scenes and let's get started. After making and preparing my charms, I print out the shipping labels for all the orders I made that batch. They're relatively cheap almost anywhere you go and all the printer paper is cheaper, I enjoyed the convenience of not having to tape on labels individually. That would take me a very long time. I also recommend upgrading to a label printer like a Dymo if you would like the convenience of not having to cut at all. Next, I peel off the labels I just cut and stick them onto bone mailers. I buy my mailers from U Pack and Chip and usually get 1000 at a time because buying them in bulk lowers the unit cost. I get the standard white bubble mailers because they are the most affordable, but I plan to upgrade to colorful ones once these run out since pink or purple mailers would be so fun to receive in the mail. During holiday seasons, I always buy Christmas themed packaging materials because many of my orders in that time are for gifts and it's very cute to package my charms like Christmas presents and I'm sure gift receivers would appreciate that. And now it's time for the fun part, packaging the charms. These are a batch of charms I already made and glazed as you can hear from that satisfying clack of the charms. They are ready to be accessorized and shipped off, so let's get started. This is an avocado shaker figure, which has no accessories so there's nothing more I need to do after glazing. I wrap my charms in bubble wrap that I get in bulk off Amazon. You can also recycle bubble wrap you receive in your own packaging. To secure the bubble wrap, I place a piece of masking tape at the end. You can also use decorative tape such as washi tape. I use little pillow boxes that come in so many designs and colors. Amazon has a few colors and designs, but the real deal is AliExpress. You can get so many of these and the only downside is the shipping, which can take up to two months to deliver. If you are in a time crunch, I would go with Amazon for all these supplies. I also use my Cricut to make logo stickers for each pillow box. A little trick I thought of was making my own tape. I didn't think I would need 50 rolls of puffy washi tape since that's the minimum order for most manufacturers, so I decided to print off strips straight from my printer. I used the Cricut to make the clean rectangular cuts. I ordered my business cards from Vistaprint. These have a glossy front and I'm super happy with how I designed them. I know Gotprint has a great deal for one-sided cards, but since I like every part to be colorful, I decided to go with the double-sided cards. I print little stickers that double as thank you notes for every single order. Having a Cricut is super helpful when making the little add-ons like these, but you can always order from a sticker provider as well. Now I put everything together, get the bubble mailer and stick them inside. For a finishing touch, I add a logo sticker to the outside of the package. That's one completed order ready to be shipped off. Next, for charms that require accessories, I use pliers to attach the requested add-on to each charm. I bubble wrap the planner charm and place it into the pillow box just like the first figurine. For this pillow box, the flaps are on the same side so I can place a full piece of tape without having to cut one in half. Then, I write the thank you note and place the items inside the mailer and seal it off. For this last order, the customer purchased the charm as well as some stickers, which I will be showing you how I pack them. First, I package the charms like normal. These are the stickers that the customer ordered, which are glossy and waterproof. I secure them in a little plastic self-seal bag from Amazon. These are super affordable and provide a good waterproof envelope for your stickers to be in. I love packing stickers with charms because they all look so adorable together. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you're a small business owner, I hope my packaging materials inspired you to create your own packaging. And if not, I hope that you still enjoyed the video and you got some behind the scenes action. I also wanted to say, instead of posting daily YouTube videos, I realized that that was way too much of a stretch. I thought it would be much easier, but editing and everything is so much harder than I thought. So I'm changing my schedule from seven times a week to three to four times a week. 
If you enjoyed this video and or you would like to show some support, make sure to like this video, subscribe. That's all. If you have any advice on what videos you would like me to post or any lighting changes, some background decoration advice, feel free to comment them down below and I will read every single comment and reply to it. That is my goal, at least in the beginning stages of my channel because I know I'm small, I hope I grow but I will try to reply to as many comments as I can for as long as possible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you sometime from one to three days. Bye! What I do, it's a lot more than just making charms. I have a lot of managing, replying to emails, replying to comments. I have a lot on my plate. I hope to make more studio vlogs. It's not really a studio, it's under a bed. I'm in a dorm, I'm in college. You can see the, this side of the bed, the other side of the bed, and the place I really like to hit my head on. And yeah, I'm trying to make this a more aesthetic space. I got watercolor prints, I got a gold laptop stand, I got my, my fake plants, and a really cute rose gold clear acrylic pencil stand it's not really the pens inside aren't as aesthetic so i need to change that but yeah and like this resin is actually really aesthetic like i like how it looks that's why i keep it around this marble it's all just adhesive paper i bought it off amazon as well because this desk is actually brown and I hate the color. It's definitely not going to make for a really pretty YouTube background. So yeah, that's why I got the white marble. And I'm just hoping that I can make this space more aesthetic in the future. And maybe when I go move out and graduate, I'll get a better workspace as well. Oh wait. I keep forgetting to look at the camera. I would like to share more about the behind the scenes, not just polymer clip tutorials. I will do that too. But I also want to make YouTube a more personal platform where I can talk, I can show my face more. I know that on my other platform is just my hands and my charms, but this is me. I am one person. I run my entire shop, my entire business, and I really hope to grow my channel and my shop for the rest of my life. Hopefully, that is the goal because I don't want a desk job. I really want to pursue my passion for art instead of computer science, which is the major I'm studying right now. That's plan B. Plan A is to grow my business, grow my channel, be able to make a living off of art. Well.